Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. In this video, I wanted to show you a number of different plants that I've just picked up this weekend. It's about the middle to end of October. So hopefully this is the time that you're gonna be seeing a lot of plant sales happening around different garden centers, big box stores, any place really that sells plants at this time of year. And I wanna show you a specific example of the plants that I've gotten and the actual savings that I have gotten um, from getting these plants at this time of year versus in the middle of the season. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about which plants I actually got and what their original prices are. So I just have them in my garage just because it's raining outside right now, um, but there's a different variety of things that I got. First of all, I got two of these Japanese forest grass. Um, these are both $15.99, so there's two of those there. Okay, next are two of these ferns. This is a Brilliant Autumn Fern. These are both $10.99, and then also right behind it, this is a variety of Hookera, and this is the variety called Little Cutie Blondie. These were also $10.99. So I have those two at $10.99, those two at $10.99, so there's four all together. Right here is a variety of lamb's ear. This one I actually got from Home Depot. You can see the price originally is $8.98. This is um, Helene Von Stein. And then right next to it, this is a, I tried to look up the pronunciation, Lukotho, uh, or Lukotho. This is originally $17.99. You can see how beautiful that variegation is too. And then the last thing are these two hydrangeas. These are a variety of hydrangea called Little Lime. You can see that right there. These are originally $34.98. You can see they're a little rough looking, but nonetheless, still alive. If you combine all these prices together, if I did pay for these in full, they would have been $172.87. However, I actually did not pay anywhere close to that, and I want to tell you guys exactly what it is that I did pay for these plants, because I'm sure you're all interested. So to begin, I actually shopped at two different places for this. One is Hat Toys, which I'm actually wearing their sweatshirt. This is not a promotional ad for them whatsoever. Um, I just happened to work there, and actually the discounts that I got were even better than what my discount would have been. So I just want to point that out there just right away. It's just a great place for me to get plants since I'm there all the time. The other place that I happened to get a few plants was obviously Home Depot, as you saw from some of those tags. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about are those 1099 perennials. They had a sale where the perennials were buy one, get one. So instead of paying for four perennials, I only got two. So instead of it being $43.96 for those four perennials, it actually was only $21.98. So already saving half on those. Next up were those two Japanese forest grasses. Those were originally $15.99, but because they're a perennial, they're still part of the BOGO sale. So instead of it being $31.98 for those, it's just $15.99 for both of those. And then the last thing that I got from Hatchways was that Lukotho, Lukothu, however you pronounce it, originally $17.99. Their sale is that shrubs are 30% off. So instead of getting it at $17.99, I got it for $12.59. Next up is Home Depot. That's actually where I had like the majority of my savings. It's actually kind of insane what they had going on. The first plant from Home Depot was that lamb's ear. Originally it was $8.98 for that plant, but that was actually 75% off. So I ended up getting it for $2.25. And then the other two things that I got from Home Depot were those two hydrangeas. That was probably where I had the biggest savings of all. Those hydrangeas originally were $34.98 per plant. Um, and I got two of them. So originally it would have been $69.96 for just those two plants. They also were 75% off. So for both of those plants, it was $17.49. Absolutely crazy. So instead of my total being $172.87, as it would have been if everything was full price, my total price, and that's excluding tax, I'll get into that in a second, um, was $70.30, which made total savings of $102.57. I ended up saving more than 50% on all of the stuff that I got, which was insane. And I know at a time like now where everything is so inflated and you could talk about that for ages, um, I really wanna help you guys out as much as I can. Um, I don't wanna stop gardening just because things are getting more expensive. So now's a really great time to take advantage of situations like this. And even if you can't plant stuff, if you can leave it in a protected area over the winter time, um, then at least you have the plants before they get even more expensive for next year. So those are all the savings that I had on those plants. Um, if you wanna stick around for the rest of this video, I'm gonna be planting them and just showing where I'm gonna plant them because I have some time today to do this. Um, but long story short, I did end up saving a lot of money on these plants. All right, so now that we've got the whole money part aside for this video, I wanted to talk about where I'm actually going to be putting these plants um, because I'm going to fill in some gaps for the rest of this season that's really going to make these beds look a lot better than what they look like now. So I'm at the front of my mom's house right now. This is one maple tree. This actually tends to lose its leaves later on in the season, but 
Um, here's the driveway, so it's just over on this side of the driveway right here. I made that bed earlier this season. What I'm planning on doing in this bed is I've had some stuff that I tried planting last year. I tried doing tulips. I tried doing brunera. It ended up not growing very well, and it's because I cut out the grass and didn't really add anything back into this area. So I have some bags of compost that I'm going to add, and I also have added some compost earlier in this season. But I'm going to do the two hookera and then also the two ferns in this bed. I think I might do hookera hookera fern fern something like that at least for now just have something in the bed i might switch it and do the ferns in the front hookera on the back we'll see but i want to try these see how they do and at least we'll have something in this bed and then we'll mulch it in the springtime from this point here i'm just going to walk over so you can get some sort of idea of where i'm actually going you can see we have this bed here's the maple tree that did lose all of its leaves for the season um, i did plant this up earlier this spring we have four hookera over here they're like a purple with kind of a pinkish accent, if you want to call it. There's a Brunnera plant here, Brunnera here, and then we have three Japanese, I think they're called um, Godzilla ferns. They're supposed to get really big. They, they grew this year, not a lot, but I'm hoping next year they're going to grow a lot more. But there's still a lot of space that we can fill. So I'm going to do a Japanese forest grass here for a bright pop of yellow. I'm going to do another Japanese forest grass here. And then that variegated Lucatho, I, I can't say the name of it. Um, it's going to go here and that will be a small shrub that'll get two to three feet tall, three to four feet wide. So it'll fill this in and hopefully these plants will pretty much just touch in the end. I don't know if you noticed, but it's actually raining outside. So I'm just finding time in my schedule to plant these and just trying to get them in the ground. Here's what I'm actually most excited for. It's those little lime hydrangeas. Now you might know that we have the two limelight hydrangea standard trees, like the actual tree forms of the limelight hydrangeas in the front of my mom's, which I could have just showed you, but Oh well. Um, anyways, I, I can show you at the end of this video. Um, what we want to do is I'm in the backyard and because those hydrangeas were so incredibly cheap, I literally cannot believe the price that I actually got those at. Um, I was like, I need to find a spot for them somewhere. So this is where I'm going to put them. What do you think about flanking the end of this here with a hydrangea here and a hydrangea here? Isn't that just like incredible? Like that's going to look so good. I just, I had that idea and I was like, I'm doing it. I need to do it. So um, the problem is I need to actually make the bed because there's grass here. So I'm going to have to cut it away. The hydrangeas I'm, I'm doing last and it's 4.53. It's raining too. So this, it's going to get darker earlier. I have like 45 minutes to an hour to work. So at the very least, I'll plant everything in those beds. I don't know if I'm going to get to the hydrangeas today, but I at least wanted to talk about the hydrangeas for the price that I got them at. And I can always do that on my own time. So besides that, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to add in compost. I have five bags of... 40 pound compost, I think is what it, or it's, it's like three quarters of a cubic foot for each bag. So I'm probably going to use up maybe like two bags per bed. I'm thinking for all the plants that I'm putting in. Um, and then I might save one extra bed for those hydrangeas when I put them in. Um, I can always get more if I need to, but I'm just going to do that. I've got a little bit of biotone starter fertilizer. So I'm going to try to add that in as well. Um, and just get these in the ground. So that way they're at least in the ground for the winter time. And this is the limelight hydrangea I was talking about absolutely beautiful maybe not the best at this time of year just because the leaves are starting to yellow but there's still some really pretty flowers at this time of year all right i'm just gonna get to it and then i'll show you when i'm done
Okay, so it is now the next day. I have everything planted. So I just wanted to show you where I ended up putting everything and just how beautiful it all looks now. So here's the first bed that I was talking about. You can see there's the two ferns and then the hookah right here. Um, I ended up putting these ferns in the back only because they're a taller structure, but I do think they look really gorgeous here and they fill up this spot well. They're only gonna get a little bit taller and wider from this point. And then in the front here, you can see there's the hookara, the beautiful red color. And I do like, even though the beds are a little bit wider in the front here, I like that I put the shorter plant in the front and we can always fill it in by adding in a couple more hookara. Here's a look at the second bed, just to look kind of from the front when people are walking on the sidewalk, you can see our little scarecrows here. Um, but what I have planted here, there's the two Japanese forest grasses. This one looks a lot bigger than the other and it did fall down a little bit because it's actually been raining all day, um, but they'll generally be about the same size. So there's the other one there. And then we have the Lakothu right here. So if I just show you from this angle, you can kind of see what it looks like. So that one, I, and I never say that name right, but that's going to fill in in the middle there. We got the two Japanese forest grasses, and I believe next year, these ferns that we have planted, these are a Godzilla fern. These are going to fill in quite a bit. They're going to look a lot bigger next year. I know they look a little skimpy now, um, but they will definitely look better next year. All right, and then lastly, we have these two hydrangeas here. Um, I know they're a little bit hard to see on camera right now, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about what the process is going to be for these hydrangeas. So here's one of them that we have planted right here. Again, this is the little lime hydrangea. This one's going to get about three to five feet tall and wide. So the hope is for this area, you can see that there's the entrance to the deck that's gonna go up over there. <laughs> you can see that there. So down here, with these hydrangeas. I'm hoping they're pretty much just going to graze the edge of this over here. Um, and then eventually you'll have the umbrella pine over here kind of mix in with the hydrangea. Um, they won't touch, not for a number of years. That's gonna take a long time to grow. Um, but the other thing I just wanted to mention about these is I kind of just cut around where we actually put the hydrangea in, stuck it right in the soil with some compost, and I know that there's just grass around it. But what I would like to do is actually make an entire bed out of this, maybe even connect those two. I'm not sure if I wanna do that this fall or maybe plan something for the springtime. Um, but what I will do is place a layer of cardboard down and then mulch on top of that as I've been starting to do this season. Um, and I will do the same thing for this hydrangea. This one's looking a little bit better. You can get a better idea for obviously what they're going to look like. But um, next year, these are gonna look a lot better. What I will do too, if you guys aren't too familiar with panicle hydrangeas and the maintenance with them, I'm gonna cut this back pretty hard. In fact, they're actually gonna look very small after um, I do cut them back, which I'll either do it soon, right after we kind of get our first frost and they go dormant for the season, or um, I'm gonna do it late winter, early spring, probably March. So that's pretty much it for this video. For those of you that are sticking around towards the end, watching me plant all these things, um, I appreciate that very much. I do love to show all the things that I wanna plant and I wanna update you guys on all the changes that I make to the yard. Um, there's a garden tour coming very, very soon for those of you that are interested in that. So you will see that soon enough. Um, if not, it would have already been posted. Um, but besides that, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Uh, once again, I just wanted to thank you because I actually just hit this milestone uh, last night before recording this video, but I just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. That is insane to think that there's actually a thousand people that want to watch my videos. Um, I didn't want to make a specific video dedicated to it, uh, but I did want to at least mention it and just, you know, show my appreciation for you guys. I just want you to know that that does not go left unappreciated. Um, I love you guys all so much and I really appreciate, appreciate you guys watching my videos, you know, leaving comments, um, liking all my videos, just honestly having conversations with you guys. I love doing, I think it's just um, great that I can actually interact with people online, especially cause there's not a lot of people in my life that really want to talk about plants. So it's fun when there's people online, uh, that do want to, but besides that, that's all I have for you today and I will see you in the next one.